Yes, I have been thinking about artificial intelligence, AA, since I was a college student. It's one of the four or five things that I believed would have the most impact on the future. The fact that humans are, as far as you can tell, the smartest animals on Earth makes it profoundly meaningful. We are distinguished by it. Indeed, we are clearly less strong and nimble than, example, chimpanzees, but our intelligence surpasses theirs. So what happens when something in silicon form that is far smarter than the smartest person appears? It's really hard to guess what will happen under those conditions. We refer to it as the singularity. It's comparable to a black hole in that you can never be certain of what comes next. It is not predictable. Therefore, I believe that we should exercise caution while using AI and that there should be some kind of government monitoring. We have an insightful conversation planned that delves deeply into the dynamic world of Tesla and its ever-changing terrain. We'll solve the puzzles of Tesla's recent happenings and their ramifications as we examine the past, present, and future of this innovative firm. We're here to provide you the most recent information on everything from Elon Musk's ambitious AI goals to impending game-changing achievements. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel before continuing. Now, let's get going. Let us not overlook the legal dance, though. What would happen if Elon chose to relocate his other businesses from Delaware? It's an intriguing idea, particularly in light of SpaceX's enigmatic universe. SpaceX, you see, raises the bar for secrecy, leaving us to wonder what else might be in store. Tesla is now being positioned by Elon Musk, the mastro of disruption, as an ad firm. Recently, we were given a sneak peek at their substantial $500 million investment in a data center close to Niagara Falls. Still, though, is this sufficient? Even Elon admitted that it's only a tiny portion of the picture. In the big picture, is Tesla's action adequate, particularly in light of their competitors? There's talk about removing Tesla completely from the MAG-7 list. This is an intriguing subject, particularly in light of the AI explosion that began last year. Every member of MAG-7 is capitalizing on artificial intelligence, AI, by investing billions in data centers and candidly sharing their AI pursuits. On the other hand, Tesla's contributions to the field of AI are sometimes overlooked. Some question if Tesla actually belongs in this exclusive group given the stock performance, which appears to be giving contradictory signals. Let's clarify, though. We think Tesla has unquestionably superior AI capabilities. Now let's examine Tesla's circumstances in more detail. They are in the top tier of the MAG-7 according to their PAQ ratio, which considers both their growth and their PE ratio. It is clear that they are operating effectively when these factors are taken into account. The problem with Tesla is that they are not doing a good enough job of telling the AI story. They are frequently grouped alongside conventional automakers, whose PEs are in the single digits. When one looks more closely at these massive auto companies, one finds that they are struggling with low operating earnings and shrinking gross margins. On the other hand, despite what seems to be a slowdown in their EPS growth, Tesla is still generating significant revenue growth. The problem is that they haven't yet fully developed their AI narrative to establish their place in the AI market. This paradox may be attributed to Elon Musk's divisive public persona and analysts' opinions of the stock. The true query here, though, is, specifically, where is the money being produced in AI? It's not quite evident. Examining Amazon, Microsoft, Google, and other companies, it's clear that while they all tell stories of AI innovation, it's unclear how these tales are translated into actual revenue. Don't get me wrong, though. We don't undervalue Tesla's potential. In fact, we think Tesla is a major player in AI. When it comes to complete self-driving capabilities, Tesla does better than a lot of other AI apps we come across. However, this story hasn't been told well enough. But this is where Tesla's distinct stance becomes relevant. They are already far into the product development cycle, even if they might be missing out on the current AI hype train. They have real products, unlike the others, that have the potential to be profitable and have a big influence. The arrival of these goods is only a matter of time. In addition, Tesla has total control over their entire supply chain and designs its own hardware and software as part of its deep vertical integration plan. This all-inclusive strategy distinguishes Tesla from rivals such as NVIDIA, which frequently depend on outside vendors. 
Tesla has a considerable competitive advantage thanks to their vertical integration, which enables smooth. The group of specialists continue to talk about the latest advancements. Tesla's vertical integration extends beyond a certain facet of their business, in contrast to many other players in the industry. It covers a comprehensive viewpoint that addresses several important components. Their cars are equipped with carefully designed in-house AI hardware and software, which enables smooth integration and optimization. With end-to-end -end control, Tesla can develop their technology and produce goods that are both well-tuned and in line with their larger vision. The experts are also excitedly delving into the wide range of opportunities that await Tesla. Together, they highlighted the company's incredibly bright future, pointing to a way for Tesla to further solidify its place in the tech and automotive industries. The relevance of Tesla's skillful storytelling about AI and technology is one of the main themes that comes to light. The participants agree that one key to realizing this potential will be Tesla's capacity to explain and communicate their groundbreaking advances in AI and technology. Furthermore, everyone agrees that Tesla is a disruptive force across several industries rather than just another automaker. Their innovative methodology goes well beyond conventional auto manufacturing, incorporating advanced artificial intelligence software creation and a variety of technology-driven fields. Let's take a peek at what lies ahead. For Tesla, 2025 is a very important year. This year will mark many milestones, one of which being the much-awaited release of the Tesla Bot, a groundbreaking advancement in advanced robotics. It is anticipated that this artificial invention would not only spark curiosity, but also represent a major step forward in Tesla's diversification away from autos. Moreover, the conversation centers on the possible development of fully autonomous driving, a revolutionary technology that has the ability to completely reshape the transportation landscape. FSD has the potential to create safer, more effective roadways and propel Tesla into a leadership position in the autonomous vehicle market. A further exciting development for this historic year is the anticipated release of a $25,000 Tesla car, which will further increase the accessibility of electric vehicles for a wider range of buyers. In the event that these benchmarks are reached as anticipated, 2025 may go down in history as a watershed year for Tesla, paving the way for the company's phenomenal expansion and technological breakthrough. Recall that 2025 holds great promise for Tesla, with groundbreaking developments in robotics, fully autonomous driving capabilities, and an accessible electric car that has the potential to completely transform the automotive sector. As these significant events take place, we're here to provide you with all the news and analysis. Currently, a multitude of factors impact both Tesla's stock price and the corporation. It has only been three days since the compensation package controversy first surfaced, and the public is about to see how attitudes have changed. When word of the pay package surfaced, Larry Goldberg was among the first to express his immediate feelings. His audience is curious to see how his opinions have changed since then. The special guest, Larry Goldberg, thinks that people are now more in favor of Elon Musk sticking with the company and winning the struggle. He was sure to highlight the significant backing that Elon had from investors in the initial compensation deal and insisted that Elon would probably win. According to Larry, this is just a temporary setback, and he emphasizes how crucial it is to establish the idea of upholding Elon's pay package in spite of the legal proceedings. There is still a lot of faith in Elon Musk to steer Tesla without incident. He does, however, also recognize that action is required, and that the market is capable of handling this circumstance. Larry stresses that although difficulties might occur, it is doubtful that Elon and Tesla's solid bond will be broken. Similar to Larry, several experts draw attention to the struggle for Elon's time and worth across different sectors. Jeff is also taken aback by the absence of an endorsement from Tesla's board. The topic of debate then shifts to the lack of a distinct victim in this legal dispute, which has several participants perplexed as to who is actually suffering from this. Elon Musk has also suggested relocating Tesla's incorporation to Texas in light of the current events, citing strong public support for the proposal. The panel proceeds with its discussion of how these recent happenings have affected their opinions before moving on to Alexander's impending proposal. As 
One of them emphasized the advantages for shareholders. They stressed that the large rise in the value of Tesla's stock meant that stockholders who had supported the firm during the lawsuit were now 10 times wealthier. They maintained that few other investments could match this significant gain. The pundit voiced confusion over how this could happen in the U.S. and emphasized the importance of being open about any potential prejudices. Jeff, a different critic, agreed with this assessment and questioned why there wasn't an obvious victim in the legal case. They also stated that they wanted to learn more about the financial side of the case and receive additional support from Tesla's board. The judges passed and any potential conflicts of interest were then the topic of intense scrutiny. Concerns were voiced by a few panelists regarding Elon Musk's political background and the judges' prior associations with a legal practice tied to Delaware's current governor. They believed that these reasons warranted the judges' recusal. The pundit also emphasized the well-known background of Elon Musk's friendship with the Tesla board of directors. Future plans were discussed, including possible lawsuits and if Tesla would file an appeal of the decision. The panel recognized the potential impact on shareholders, as well as the substantial financial burden on the organization. They also discussed the board's stance and the difficulties it encountered in issuing remarks as it awaited the outcome. A letter to the board expressing support for specific initiatives, such as moving the company's incorporation to Texas and reiterating the 2018 compensation plan, was also cited by the panel. These were viewed as essential procedures in reaction to the most recent court decision. Imagine this. Elon Musk might own up to a quarter or more of the company. How does that come about? Let's think about Texas, the state of opportunity. It turns out that dual share classes, a special benefit Texas gives, may be the hidden weapon that feeds Elon's desire to become an owner. Here's the twist, though. Enthusiastic shareholders like us aren't the only ones who have to bear the burden of making these decisions. No, the board has the last say. Our goal is to express our opinions and offer our support. This is the most exciting part. Almost 2,000 shareholders have joined our cause in just one day. Yes, 2,000 voices, or almost 5.5 million shares, are reiterating our feelings. Envision a society comprised of agents of change. This community's prowess in research and group effort is what really sets it apart. We are actively influencing the future rather than only being spectators. We are in charge when it comes to influencing proxy statements for forthcoming meetings or penning letters to the board. We'd like to encourage you to go on this thrilling journey into the future with us as we wind up this video. Remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Tesla Stock News as a way to express your support. I'm grateful, and I'll see you soon. Please don't hesitate to get in touch if you need further help.